My boyfriend told me my hair looks very 90s, and I'm pretty sure that was an insult. Well, hello, dear watcher. Sam is here. 90s hair and all. Don't think I care that much. 90s was not a great time for fashion. And all fashion trends make a comeback. Oh, there's some that I'm just like, how about not? But you know what doesn't go out of fashion because it's just constant? Our book series. Everything is a damn series. If it didn't start as a series, it's going to end up a series. There's so many books that I thought that were single books only months later to find out, oh, that was number one in a series? When did that happen? So uh, that's okay. I'm not great with keeping up with series, series I, series. And while I enjoy them, they are a huge commitment. Some are just not worth the effort, and there are some that are. And I have started many a series. So today we're just going to talk about series that I have actually finished or have finished up until what is currently out. So one of the first series that I want to talk about is Lord of the Rings. I adored Lord of the Rings. I didn't read them as a kid. I read them as an adult. Uh, when I was in the Navy and we were out to sea, I would just be in my rack, just like ooh, reading along. And when it was over, my heart, I was so sad when this book was over. I remember just looking at, at the pages going, it's over. And I was very sad about that. It was just so good. I don't tend to reread, but I think this is one. It's been about 12 years since I've read them. And I might go back to them again. It's been a long time. I've also read The Hobbit. Adored that as well. But uh, Lord of the Rings is just a great, grand old time. I love it. Another series that I finished was the Southern Reach series. And that is a trilogy and is what spawned the movie Annihilation, which... It's a pretty good movie. I really enjoyed that one. But the Southern Reach books are really out there. I did like them. Uh, I liked the eeriness, the atmosphere. The writing can be a little tough to get through. I listened to them on audio, and it's just the the author is very technical in his writing. So sometimes if something's a little too technical, my brain just kind of stops paying attention. And that's where audiobooks are just better for me. But some, he very his writing style is technical, almost kind of Michael Crichton-ish uh, to me. And I the story is just, it's, it's eerie, it's creepy, it's very interesting. And I really liked it. <laughs> Another series that I did finish is The Chronicles of Narnia. Number four, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader was my favorite. I love that one. Now, these series, you know, heavy on the Christian allegory, um, which is fine by me. I didn't grow up in the church. I didn't grow up with any of that. So it was something that it's not that it's lost on me, but I'm not looking at it through a Christian perspective viewpoint necessarily. I'm looking at it through a storytelling viewpoint. It's a good fantasy story. I understand why people don't like it. Um, but as a fantasy series, I did really like it. I think about, I don't think about them that often, but every once in a while, like the Don Treader with the little mouse, it just, the Don Treader is my favorite. I love that one. Another series, I don't know if this is really a series, just a duology is The Handmaid's Tale. That's one that hits me in the feels pretty hard. Um, looking at everything that's going on now as a woman, it's hard not to see the comparisons. Like, I'm waiting for the call that, like, I can't get into my bank account because I'm a female and... You know, I need like a male representative to handle my finances because apparently I can't do it. <laughs> it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm waiting for that call. That's ter It's a terrifying, terrifying thing. And the show is phenomenal. When the Testaments came out, I read that one pretty quickly after it came out. And um, 
I really did enjoy that one. That one for me was easier to get through than The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, Margaret Atwood can be a tough read, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I still got a lot out of her her writing and her stories. Most of that's fear, but, you know, I got stuff out of it. I also finished the Twilight series. Oh, man. I did not read these as a teenager. I read these in my early 20s as an adult. At least I thought I was an adult. I'm still not an adult. Ugh. Adulting. Blah, blah. So, Twilight is having a huge resurgence right now because of some of the problematic things that people are seeing with it now that they didn't weren't necessarily as outraged by in the early 2000s. And it's interesting. There's there's camps that are like, guys, they're not that bad. And there are camps that are saying, you know, it's worse than we thought. I don't remember. I think they're all ter terrible. Not the books are terrible, but the characters are all terrible. Like, I wasn't Team Edward or Team Jacob. They're both awful people. Um, Bella's irritating. I'm not a Kristen Stewart fan, so her in the movies, I just couldn't stand it and I hated it uh the movies I don't think were very good I didn't watch them all I thought I think I saw the first two and I was like yeah no I'm done with that no thank you another series that I have completed is The Hunger Games now I read the initial trilogy I very much enjoyed The Hunger Games uh the first one was great the second one was okay and the third one I thought was a bit better the movies are enjoyable. Now, A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes just came out, which is, you know, a prequel that people were apparently clamoring for. I don't remember anyone thinking that, but um, I'm calling this series done. I have no interest in reading that book. I, I don't know if a prequel should be added into this. Like, I don't know if the prequel counts as part of the series. Because it was such an afterthought. Me, my channel, my list. I've read The Hunger Games. I'm not going to read A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I have zero interest in that. And I've watched a couple reviews just because I like the person who's reviewing it. And I'm, mm, cool. It's middle of the road for a lot of people. I have no interest and I'm not going to read it. Now for ongoing series that I'm caught up with currently... But they still have books coming out. <sighs> One of those is the Wayward Children series. Now, this is like a, a middle grade series, portal fantasy. These kids, they go through different doors and they end up in, in these other worlds that are either like nonsense worlds or very logical worlds. And you can choose to stay or go back home to, to the real world. And I just adore these books. They're by Sean and McGuire. I don't know what it is is I loved them from the moment I read the, the, the first one. If they're, her writing is very accessible. Now, these are middle grade series, so, uh, you know, a lot of kids can, a lot of parents can read these to their kids. And if I'm ever lucky enough to have kids, I will read these to my children. Oh, my goodness. I loved them. I wish I had them read to me as a kid. I don't know what year they came out. I was definitely not a kid when they came out. But, oh, they're just beautifully written, and I, I relate to one of the characters so hard because growing up as a little girl, I was, you know, I wasn't supposed to be the rough and tumble kid. I wasn't supposed to be the athletic one. I wasn't supposed to be, you know, I wasn't supposed to be all of that. I was supposed to be quiet and demure and do what I say and clean and cook, otherwise no one will ever love me. And that just wasn't and isn't me. But I related to some of those characters because of things like that. And I just really adored these books. And the sixth one is getting ready to come out. And I cannot wait. The moment that is out, I am going to read it. And I'm so excited. And then the next one, the final book on the list, is The Game of Thrones. I am all caught up. I've been caught up for a long time, and I want the next books. I really, really do. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, George R. R. Martin is an artist, and he can take all the time he wants. 
I can want the book all day long, but like you shouldn't bother artists. To, we need this now. They don't. Owe, they don't owe you. They don't owe me. They don't owe us anything. So. I can say I really want to read these books. I'm so excited. I want the next ones. But I will wait until you are ready to have it out. And that goes for any writer of any series of any book, any artist of anything ever. So those are the finished series that I have read. Now... A few books that I have started and I'm in the middle of currently uh, are also series. Um, I just I'm 13% into Binti, which um, I can't say much about yet. I'm still in the very beginning stages of the book, but I'm enjoying it so far. And that's a novella and there's three of them. And if I like this one, I fully plan on going forward with it. Uh, the Gentleman Bastards. I'm in the middle of the Lies of Locke Lamora. Um, I get more into detail about that in my end of year book tag video. So, um, and then the Witcher series, uh, I've read a couple stories in the first book, the last wish. And I very much look forward to carrying on with that series. It's just not something that I've been mentally into right now. There's other things that I've been wanting to read and I just kind of, you know, I'll, I'll read because the first book is a short story collection. So I'll read a short story, put it down for a little while. I'll get to it when I get to it. I'm not super stressed about getting it done. So I'm, I will continue on that one when I feel like it, but that's, I like it so far. Very excited. And then a couple series I want to start. Oh, I want to start Wheel of Time. I want to start it. I own the first two in mass market paperback. I love me a good mass market paperback. Uh, I want to start it, but because it's such a long series, and you'll notice most of the series that I have finished are trilogies or duologies. The ones that are a little bit longer, like Twilight's only four books, Hunger Games is a trilogy. Wayward Children series is five books, but again, those are so short it's not a huge challenge or commitment to get through those. Wheel of Time being 14, 15 books. Oh, man. And then in my last haul, my only haul so far, um, you'll see that I got the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb and the Live Ship Traders trilogy by Robin Hobb as well. And those are two books I'd very much want to read or two series that I really want to read. So I'm going to get into all those. Uh, there are plenty of other series that I've started and either plan to finish someday or don't plan to finish at all. And we'll get into those in a part two because there's a lot. I'm really bad at this game. But until next time... 